What would you say if I told you that you could create vibrant and durable direct-to-film transfers that you could apply to virtually any garment or substrate using a DTG printer? It's true, and I'm gonna show you how. Roll the intro. Now, if you've been following the news out of the custom apparel industry or have seen any of our recent videos, you'll know that direct-to-film printing, also known as DTF, is one of the most popular and most profitable printing methods out today. However, what many people don't know is that you don't need a separate DTF printer to create direct-to-film transfers. All you need is this. This is Rakoma's Vision DTG printer. This powerful direct-to-garment printer has three pre-programmed print modes to meet all your specific printing needs, including standard, high resolution, and high speed printing. You can produce a high resolution 8 by 10 inch graphic on a light garment in under 155 seconds. Or if you are printing a bulk order, you can speed the printer up and produce the same size graphic at a slightly lower resolution in under 60 seconds. Its intuitive seven inch touchscreen control panel allows you to easily track the progress of your print jobs, your current ink levels, and any maintenance your machine might need. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use this printing powerhouse to create custom, stunning apparel using the DTF method on my Vision DTG. All right, these are the materials we're gonna be using for this project. I'll give you a couple of seconds to screenshot. All right, there we go. Now let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna open up our Vivid Rip software, which came with our DTG bundle. And as soon as this program loads up, we're going to go into our Recoma Vision tab. And we're gonna go into the tab that says DTF. Okay. So now we're gonna go over to the left-hand side and go to our plus sign to import an image. And we're gonna go to our desktop, printing projects, and the design is called Everyone Croaks. Okay, so the design's already set to the parameters that I need, 11 by 14 for the shirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to center align it, and then I'm going to top align. Okay, perfect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to color adjust, just to make it a little bit brighter. Let's see, so take Seven looks good right there. No saturation. I'm gonna take it to 10. Not perfect. And we're gonna make the rendering intent absolute so that it looks exactly like how you see it here on, on the camera, or rather on the on the screen. The white coverage is bump it up to 70. Okay, perfect. Let's see, so white layer. That's good, perfect. So color layer, we have brightness at seven, saturation at 10, absolute rendering, and 70 at white coverage, perfect. We're gonna hit okay. We're only gonna make one copy, of course, and we've got pretty much everything good to go here. Our design is aligned correctly. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna archive it, and I'm gonna put it on my USB. So we're gonna go to USB, we're gonna save, we're doing this with DTF so that when you put it onto the DTG, it'll recognize automatically that it has to mirror the design. Notice I didn't, I didn't do it here. Or rather, if you do hit mirror here on DTF and you print it onto the DTG, it'll flip the design. All right, our design is saved. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna take out the USB and we're gonna take it straight to the DTG. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my USB onto the Vision DTG. We're gonna go to USB, and we're gonna get our design, everyone croaks DTF design, and we're gonna select yes, and there's our design. All right, now that we've got our design loaded onto our printer, now I'm gonna use my DTF film. So we're gonna place it right up here. All right, so the DTF film is gonna be placed as follows. It's gonna be shiny side facing down, and matte side facing up. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to tape the DTF film down to the platen so that it doesn't shift when it's printing, okay? It's secured in place. Now, I can go ahead and start printing. All right, I've taped my DTF film down to the platen. I'm ready to print. All right, here we go. 
Okay, so it says here to turn the dial to lower the platen. That's okay. All this is saying is that the platen is too high or too low uh, for the print head. So what we're gonna do here is on the platen wheel down here, we're gonna turn it until it says setting completed. Now it may happen again when we hit set. See, just like now, that's okay. Just keep going until it goes all the way back. Our design has printed onto our DTF film. I'm gonna let it dry for about five minutes and then I'm going to add our DTF adhesive powder. All right, our design is done and it's dried. Look at all those colors. Very, very nice. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, let me set this down. I'm gonna use my DTF adhesive powder that I have in my shaker right here and I'm gonna try to evenly distribute as much as I can onto the design. Okay, so here we go. Put our adhesive powder, just do a light shake on the design. There we go, just like that. And try to cover as much as you can. Perfect, okay. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna grab the DTF paper on each end and then I'll just basically trough it on through like that. And I'll do both sides. I'll do going down, going up. Now what I'm gonna do is whatever excess that I have on the corners, you can either use a brush or if you have a cloth like I do right now, you can use that as well. And be careful not to touch the design because you can rub it off that way. All right. So we've got our DTF film, or rather our adhesive powder on our design. Now, quick comment. Keep in mind we are in a high humidity area, so some of the DTF powder can stick onto the paper no matter what. So like I said earlier, the, the brush method or if you have a cloth to wipe off any of the excess, you can do. Uh, in this case, we got most of it off, so we should be good to go. But just keep that in mind. If you're in a high humidity area, these things can happen. So now we have to bake it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the Recoma Auto Open 16 by 20 heat press and I'm gonna hover it. I'm gonna do the hover mode on here. And the way to do it, I'm gonna show here. We're gonna get the wheel and we're gonna bring it up to the point to where the platen is gonna be hovering over, the top platen is gonna be hovering, hovering over the bottom platen, hence hover mode. So I'm gonna keep bringing this up and now let's see. Okay, so it's still closing. Let's bring this up. And there's our hover mode. From our top platen to our bottom platen, there's a little bit of a gap. This is perfect for the DTF. When we bake the adhesive film, that way it doesn't rub off, but it bakes into the design. Okay. And now. There we go, for 500 seconds. So it's gonna be eight minutes. So eight minutes and eight minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. Okay, our design has been baked with the DTF adhesive powder. Now all we need to do is transfer this onto our garment. All right, we've got our design already baked with the DTF powder. Now let's take our heat press and put it back to normal. I want it to have firm pressure for when I do the pressing. Perfect, there we go. My Teflon sheet, and I've got my shirt that I'm gonna press. So 
So first thing, like we always do, I'm gonna go ahead, let me bring out the platen, and I'm going to iron out this shirt for about 10 seconds, just to get the moisture out. Okay, so let's do 10 seconds. We're gonna keep the same temperature, 325 degrees. Okay. That's good right there. Let's go ahead and get our design. And we could press. And you see four fingers from the collar. And this is gonna be 325 for 15 seconds. Remember, this is a hot peel. So as soon as the 15 seconds are up, then this lifts up, I have to go ahead and peel it right away. Okay. All right. And here we go. Here's our final product. And as you can see, we can stretch our design and the image doesn't distort. All right guys, that's all the time we have for today. Now we did DTF using the DTG and it came out great. Now if you wanna learn more about DTF tips, now refer to our last video that we just did. If you're looking for more inspiration for your next printing project or to get some more printing advice, then be sure to join our Facebook group, Embroidery and Printing Business Help Group. Lastly, if there's any other ideas you'd like to see in a future episode of Recoma Prints, then be sure to leave it in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.